Cuban migrants who were rescued from a lighthouse off Sugarloaf Key are now in legal limbo. Under the wet foot, dry foot policy, they could be sent back to Cuba since they never really reached dry land. But a local group is taking legal action to allow them to stay, but they're still not sure just how many migrants may be involved. Local 10's Hatzel Bella is live now to explain for us. Hatzel. Kevin, that's the problem. The democracy movement has a list of about 35 migrants. But remember, Coast Guard only has 21 in custody. So where are the rest? And of course, relatives also concerned. Will the ones in custody be able to stay? Felipe Gamboa shows us pictures of his two sons, Soltan and Felipe Gamboa Jr. He hopes are part of the 21 Cuban migrants who made it to the American Shoal Lighthouse about five miles offshore from Sugar Loaf Key. After a standoff that lasted more than five hours, the migrants eventually came down and are now in Coast Guard custody. Gamboa says he got a call from their mother in Cuba, who said their two sons had taken to the water, a total of 21 from Havana. But there's also been inquiries about a second group of migrants who left the province of Villa Clara. People are desperate. They've been waiting all weekend to find out and to get some information on the Coast Guard to no avail. The democracy movement has been working nonstop to try to get some confirmation from Coast Guard officials as to who is in custody. The list is getting longer. 35 names of Cuban migrants who are either on the Coast Guard cutter, still at sea, or possibly even lost in the Florida Straits. You know, anyone who, who feels for these people really would like to see them get the opportunity uh, to stay. Congressman Carlos Curbelo says his office is keeping in close contact with the Coast Guard and the Obama administration. But this is a wake up call, he says, that we are in the midst of a migrant crisis, a Cuban exodus that we haven't seen since the mid 90s. So immigration attorneys are ready to file an injunction, hoping that the federal courts can once again decide whether these migrants finally made it to American land. For now, reporting live in Little Havana, Hatzovella, Local 10 News. Okay.